Campbell joins us every uh, Wednesday, publisher of Feast Magazine, um, producer of Feast Television, yes, world dominator of Feast Com, <laughs> stage, screen, <laughs> radio, TV. I'm on a mission to make everyone eat well. Print. And in fact, I woke up in the middle of, last night. I fell asleep, and I wake up. And there she is talking to you. I hear your. Uh, what were you, <laughs> you heard my voice. Yes, I'm coming like, from the other room. She's everywhere. I can't remember what you were making, but yeah, I had it on Channel Nine, and there you were. There you go. <laughs> All right, Kat, what do you got for us today? Tacos and ice cream. All right. Mm. I mean, what else do you want on a crazy hot day? Yes. It's yes. insanely hot. So we'll start with the ice cream because you should always eat dessert first. <laughs> uh, so Clementine's, which is a very well-known Lafayette Square ice cream shop has expanded to the DeMunn neighborhood at 730 DeMunn Avenue. And it's a very cute storefront that uh, it's next under the next door to the DeMunn Oyster Bar. And it's double the size of the original. So the original is teeny it tiny. Is tiny. It's little bit, litty bitty. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Itty bitty. <laughs> litty bitty. Woo. All right. Um, so it is, you know, if the original is kind of like long and narrow and you, you stand in line and you taste all the ice creams. And if you aren't familiar with the ice cream from Clementine's, it's 100 percent natural. It's made from milk that <clears throat> that is from grass fed um, cows. There's nothing artificial. They make everything from scratch. And uh, her ice cream has 16 to 18 percent butter fat. So it's just decadent and <laughs> creamy and delicious. Oh she also does have sorbet, if you would like that. And, of course, there are the naughty and nice. That's her signature. So the nice has no booze. Naughty has booze. And it comes in flavors like uh, banana rum and maple bourbon. I'm a fan of the maple bourbon. Um, <laughs> but you can also get things like blackberry buttermilk and strawberry balsamic with white pepper. The, the flavors change all the time. Um, one thing that she does offer is uh, shipping, just in shipping. case. She, yes, she will ship. Oh, that's fantastic. Uh, which is great. And so if you aren't near either one of the locations, she does offer shipping. And she also does custom flavors. So if you have an ice cream flavor in your brain that uh -huh. you just absolutely have to have, like for a birthday party or surprise or just because you want it, um, she does offer that as well you know when you say shipping do you mean delivery or yes. do you mean oh, you mean delivery like, okay you mean like to other cities if you want to send yeah. something to oh or, or you, you can, mean like to here yeah you can ship it to your house I mean well hmm. shipping is different from delivery right you deliver a pizza to your house right you don't ship a pizza to I your mean house. she offers shipping okay hmm. all right she will ship it do you think all, she, right. all right there you go shipping check out the website clementinescreamery.com for details and uh, we okay. should say it's on demand and it's sort of right where um sasha's on Sh uh, sasha's on demand is right in that area yes so it's mm -hmm. next to the oyster bar okay and mm -hmm. you know they have waffle cones and sugar cones but some of the waffle cones are coming from a um uh, a brooklyn-based company called the conery with a k mm. and uh they have like blue corn orange dreamsicle red velvet and toasted coconut so like really fun mm. really really fun um uh flavors but you know the quality of the ice cream is is incredibly high so mm -hmm. it's delicious and ostensibly good for you there you go yeah right definitely <laughs> clementine's naughty and nice creamery now open in demand all right yes. what's number two number two is mission taco has another location this one is in saint charles and it's right over the river um or right before the river depending on which look you know right. which direction which, you're coming from you're um and so it's in the streets of saint charles at 1615 1650 beale street mm. and they um so ever since they've opened they've been packed uh, which is hardly a surprise because Mission Taco is awesome. It's a 4,500 square foot location. They do have a patio where you can have private events, um, inside seats, like 132 guests. One of the things that I just love about Mission Taco, besides the fact that, you know, their, their salsas change all the time. And when you order the chips and salsa, um, you get two different salsas delivered to your table. One that's going to be less hot, one that's going to be a little bit more hot. But they make their own masa which, um, you know, masa is the corn dough that's used to make corn tortillas. Mm. And most places that say we make our own tortillas, they're getting, not that this is a bad thing necessarily, but they're getting a bag of corn flour and they're just mixing some water in it and they're right. just whatever. Mm. So the guys from Mission 
Adam and Jason, they actually are getting non-GMO corn from a Southern Illinois corn grower. They are grinding the corn themselves. They're, they are, excuse me, they are, uh, they're uh, putting the lye and soaking the water. They're soaking the corn themselves. Uh, and then they are like grinding it and then making their own masa um, out of their, they have wow. a commissary. Yeah. So they make. That's quite a process. It really is a process. And so they make their own masa uh, fresh every single day that uh, for their tortillas, for their chips, for all of the dough that they need um, at their at their uh, restaurant. So that really is very distinctive. Mm. I mean, their their tacos are amazing. You really love, you said yeah. the fish taco. Oh, I love their grilled fish. The grilled yeah. fish taco. That was there on Saturday. I don't know what I ordered, but it was good. You always say that. <laughs> I don't know what I had, but it was good. I was at the That's ball game. Useful. I was at the ball game and then we went to Mission Taco, so I was a little under the weather. <laughs> I had I had quotes. too I had too many potato chips at the ball game. Uh -huh. Gotcha. Uh -huh. Did you have a margarita when you got to Mission Taco in Soulard? I, I really sure. don't remember. I love the Soulard I location. I don't believe I, I did. Do too. I love the when Soulard. I go on my morning walks, I always walk by the Soulard location. And the folks who designed the Soulard location also designed the St. Charles location, Space uh -huh. Architects. Mm. And so it has a similar feel. Nice so open feel. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. How many Mission Tacos are there now? Oh my gosh. Well, um, I should know that. Yes. I thought there was just, Wait. oh, there's three now. Yeah. I know there's, well, there's one, the one, one by in my the hairdresser. Loop. There's the one in the loop. Right. The one in Soulard. Mm -hmm. And then the one in, in um, St. Charles. Is there another one? I don't three. think. I think that's it. Yeah. And okay. then they're opening up one in the Crossroads di District of Kansas City that is also going mm. to be married with an ITAP, which mm. is going to be pretty amazing yeah um yeah. i personally love the shrimp and mango taco that is pretty amazing that. it's really really good and i mean just the it, it, if you love the the menu at at soulard it's the same menu right. in saint charles yeah. and they have a great cocktail program so things like zombies and you know and great margaritas and then big you know like punch bowl cocktails i'm sure and, that he had a punch bowl cocktail you know i don't know i don't know with a straw all, all for himself uh, right. I, know. I don't remember exactly what i had but it was good all right uh, what's going on with Feast Magazine? Uh, well, we are heading into Feast 50 season. Yes. So we're putting together, it's our annual uh, tip of the hat to the best of the best across the entire state of Missouri. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to be going to press with that pretty soon. It's really exciting. Um, and of course, I mentioned last week, we are sponsoring the Tomato Explosion all month. Mm -hmm. uh, if you go to feastmagazine.com, we have a page dedicated. But I also have to say, I'm going to India and oh. we have announced the trip. All the details are coming out on July 19th, but uh -huh. I invite you to join me. It, there are only 20 spots, mm. max. So it's we are going to India 14 days. We are going from New Delhi to Mumbai. It is a culinary and history tour. It's going to be steeped in just the culture of India. I cannot be more excited. Um, it is going to be a guided tour, but you're going to have tons of time on your own so you can explore. So you're going to be with the group um, when you want to be, but you're going to have enough freedom to do your own thing. And I mean, some of the best hotels in the world. It's going to be amazing. Wow. Feastmagazine.com for all the information. Yes. Kat, have a good week. Thank you.